Hi, it's Mark for Ableton Daily. Creating simple wobble bass. You'll need the analog instrument, which is purchased standalone from the Ableton website. Let's go ahead and begin. I have the analog instrument here, and I've already created the wobble bass, so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, play with some of the frequency and some of the settings here and you can hear the difference in the sound. Okay, I've also added a saturator plugin after the analog instrument just to dirty things up a little bit. Uh, if you increase the depth with color turned on, you can really dirty to have that nice harsh edge sound in there. Uh, I'm using a medium curve here, so let's go ahead and play with this a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial here. Okay, first you'll need a MIDI channel in live. You can also just drag in the analog instrument into the arrangement view, and it'll create a MIDI track for you. So I can just go ahead and do that. Uh, go over to Live Devices and just expand the Instruments folder. And if you have Analog, it should be at the very top here. And just go ahead and drag that into the Arrangement view anywhere right here. And Live will create this channel for us. So here we go. Okay, this is the default sound that Analog makes for you. Okay, it's got a very fast... Uh, very fast attack and it doesn't hardly have any sustain at all but uh, to make the sound more consistent we can change the amp for this oscillator here so just click over on amp anywhere in a blank area here to select it increase up the sustain a little higher there so it's more consistent so there you have it and you don't really need a release I probably won't use a release so I'll just go ahead and turn that down to five milliseconds and let's hear how that sounds. Sounds good. I have a fairly long controller so what I'm going to do is turn down or at least knock it down one octave on the oscillator. So I'll just go over here to octave and let's go ahead and notch that down to negative one. Okay, it's already sounding better already. Uh, for the shape of the oscillator, this is totally up to you. It's defaulted to a sawtooth, but you can change this quickly to a square wave and get another sound. So it's just sort of a personal preference depending on the music you're working with and everything. So, so the whole concept of the wobble bass is fairly simple. Uh, you're just oscillating a frequency, pretty much, or you're, you know, you're modulating it. So it's going up and down in frequency, and it's following the shape of the oscillator while it's doing that. So and that's, I don't know how else to explain it, but uh, the first thing we can do is just turn on the filter here, and by default, uh, analog has a low pass, uh, low pass 12 filter is set by default. So we want to oscillate this. We want to sort of have like that wobbly, wowy sound to it. And so we need the a low, uh, a low frequency oscillator. We need to turn that on over here. And, and then we also have a rate. I would recommend keeping this on frequency for how the rate behaves. Okay. You can also sync the rate to uh, this little musical note here, which means that it will sync the rate uh, to your tempo in live, uh, whatever you have your tempo set to. So that's nice. But for now, I'm going to keep this on HZ, which stands for Hertz, which is just a frequency. So you're able to control the rate throughout the entire frequency spectrum. So that's very nice. Now let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. Okay, nothing really has changed. It sounds the same. Well, that is because, uh, let's go over here to filter, and we are not really modulating 
the frequency yet because there has been no value applied to this filter. Uh, how much how much modulation do we want to come through to this filter? Well, it's currently by default, it's set to zero. So we need to increase this value. So this is for a four value and this is a zero, or you can just type it in on the keyboard. So this is with none at all. And if we increase this slowly, So this is your amount, how much amount, how much of that modulation do you want to be coming through to this filter? We'll go ahead and keep it at four, which is, the, it's, that's the highest setting right now. So cool. Sounds good. And you can see here, you can hear that moving up and down type sound. That's what it's doing. It's oscillating that just up and down, up and down. And you can see by the waveform, if I click over here on the LFO, it shows the waveform going up and down. So listen to the sound and watch the waveform. So the sound looks just like the waveform. If we change that to, let's say, a triangle, let's see how it sounds. Or more noticeably, uh, a rectangle. Which is more of an on, or an on and off type sound. So great. So it's, you can see it's very, very simple to do. You can almost create this wobble bass on any basic synthesizer you have, any plugin really. You don't really even have to use analog. All right, so we have the uh, LFO set up here. I'll go ahead and play with this a little bit. It's uh, pretty flat right now. If you want more of a wobbly sound, what you need to do after you've... Uh, after you start modulating that filter, okay, you need to turn down the frequency. So turn down the frequency, add a little bit of resonance to that. So I'll press the key here. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit here so you can hear it. Okay, so what you're hearing right now is probably the most basic wobble bass sound you can make with, with just one oscillator. We've got one filter, we've got one FL, LFO here. So this is about as basic as it gets. Let's see, we've got this frequency set right. Okay, I like that. So let's add, uh, we can add a saturator onto analog or we can actually turn on oscillator number two and that will thicken the sound a little bit check this out okay i can even change that oscillator two to a square wave to match oscillator number one All right, let's go ahead and add that saturator in here. Over on the live devices, audio effects, I'll come down here and drag in saturator. Okay. And by default, everything is turned off. So you'll want to turn on, uh, you can turn on DC, direct current, uh, color, and set this to medium curve. There you go. That's more of a harsher, might be more of the sound you're looking for there. Uh, we can play with the depth and the frequency. I found that uh, you're going to hear more noticeable changes uh, adjusting these two parameters here. So, Obviously, we are uh, peaking out pretty good here. And 
real quick. You can also just click on MIDI at the top here and assign the rate knob to a knob on one of your external MIDI controllers. And then I can just, instead of using the mouse, I can just turn this knob here. <laughs> So there you have it. Hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for some more tips and tricks on Ableton Live. Take care.